We go back now to that developing story on Luis Ramos, the man who led police on a two-hour chase last year, firing shots at them. Ramos and his attorneys were talking over the details of what could be a plea deal in that case. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti is following that story. He was in the courtroom this morning and joins us live now from downtown Youngstown. Lauren, we can tell you just within the last 15 or 20 minutes, Luis Cruz Ramos told a judge in Mahoning County Common Police Court, I am guilty of the 13 counts against him, 10 of those for shooting at police officers a year ago during a wild chase that we covered extensively that began in Camel the night of uh, March 30th of last year and continued into the following morning. Ramos pled to a number of charges of shooting at police officers as, as well as weapons and uh, traffic charges resulting from that chase. He was then caught days later when U.S. Marshals surrounded him on the south side of Youngstown and he was ultimately shot in the leg when he pointed at those officers. Ramos is now in the middle of the first year of a 21-year federal sentence resulting from this chase and arrest. He'll be sentenced a week from today and could face upwards of 25 to 30 years, I'm told. Had he gone to trial, which was the rumor coming into court this morning, he could have faced upwards of 130 years in prison if a jury would have found him guilty on all of these counts. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 5 and 6, including sound from prosecutors who said why they felt the need to press this case as hard as they did. For now, live in downtown Youngstown, I'm Jerry Ricciuti. Lauren, 